What is up everybody? I'm here at Six Flags Over Texas today and I just got the park and the line for the Flash Pass booth is extremely long. There's a line right there. Uh, waiting to get our Platinum Pass that has been added on to our Diamond Elite membership. That's a new thing so um, your Platinum Flash Pass does not expire. Um, you can have it added on to your pass along with the Dining Pass. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier. The only thing they need now is a fly, flash pass to bypass the flash pass line. That would be better. But uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, so we just got in the park. Uh, we're going to try El Diablo. El Diablo's opened uh, members um, from 1030 to 4 o'clock. And then I was told season pass holders will get to ride it the rest of the day. Um, even though the website said it was open to the general public from uh, 4 to 10. So we'll just have to see uh, what's going on there. So yeah, we're anxious to try out the new ride. It actually opens Tuesday, May 28th, but uh, they're having a soft opening all this weekend for members and um, season pass holders, I guess, in the evening. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll be back. So basically, uh, they put a gate around the uh, dancing waters, as you can see there. That used to not be there, because they had too many people trying to climb in there or whatever. But anyways, uh, we are on our way to El Diablo. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's going to be I think that's yeah. Only if you have a Diamond and Diamond Elite uh, membership, uh, you can ride it from 10.30 to 4 o'clock p.m. today, and so that's where we're headed. I got my platinum flash pass, so I'll show you how to use that a little bit later on. But, uh, it's going to be a very packed day as we're going through the park. There's the Silver Star Carousel. And uh, see that big looping thing right there? That is El Diablo. That's what we're headed to. You're a Diamond or Diamond Elite member, you got to use the Flash Pass entrance to El Diablo to get on it. It's kind of nice and breezy right now out here in the park. guy's language. I guess he thinks he's a he's a cool dude because he uses them. Anyway, we are going into one of the shops here. Yeah, lots of cool stuff in here. Believe it or not, they still have fidget spinners. We got a Batman one. And they have some fun co pops in here. And here's where you can get your membership lanyards. And they have membership umbrellas. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, they got some Justice League stuff in here. Uh, they got some Justice League umbrellas here too. They still have those. Uh, they still got their... Oh, that's a 2019 ornament, not a 2018. So that's cool. They 
not even Christmas and they have a Christmas ornament out. And then they have 2019 shot glasses, the Superman, and then they have the coffee mugs. Pretty interesting. And uh, I like this picture frame from Justice League on it. That's pretty cool. So if you get a picture, you can put it in there. And these are cool Batman hats. I really like that. So here we go. We are headed over toward El Diablo. The newest ride. And the park's, I believe, 14th coaster so we're here in the uh, Mexican section or Spain Mexico and Spain are kind of close together here at Six Flags so you know might run into some Texas thrill seekers I were told that they would be out here today Uh, the Conquistador, once again, is temporarily closed. I wonder what's going on there and how come nobody's allowed to sell the Seven Seas looking for gold. But uh, we are getting closer to El Diablo here. And there is actual people on it. Well, we're going to see how this thing goes. Alrighty, folks, welcome to El Diablo. We just sat there, no cell phones, no filming, nothing in your pockets. Hold on tight, have fun all up there. So, uh, so far, pretty quick uh, getting on the rides. I got it on the Vibora with some members of Texas Thrill Seekers, and I didn't even need my flash pass for that. Uh, we were the first four people in line, and we got to ride first. And, uh, of course, before that, El Diablo, I think it was like the, uh, like the second on El Diablo. Uh, got to sit in the very back which when it goes that way is the very front. So that was kind of cool. Um, I got to sit in the front on the new Texas Giant and uh, 
saw Heather and Joseph and some other members of Texas Thrill Seekers on there and just got a picture with them. And uh, so now we're off to ride the Titan. And then probably gonna get some lunch. So, be back. All right, so uh, some very good wait times on some rides. Uh, Platinum Pass is really coming in handy today. And uh, now we're gonna go get some lunch. Well, I said that, but hold on. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's go. Well, for a busy day, it's kind of quiet out here. Gotta love it. Kind of nice and shaded right here. Yeah. Keeps coming on. Oh, So, uh, Let's see what we can get. Hmm, the taco place is closed. And uh, don't forget, coming the week of July 4th is July 4th Fest. I got Six Flags Karaoke going on.
Yeah, I love when you're trying to go a certain way and somebody decides that they want to go the same way, too. So, uh, we're here at the uh, Buffalo Chicken Place. So, uh, we're going to use the kiosk. So, this is what I'm having for lunch. Garlic Parmesan Sandwich. So, I'm interested to try this out. I'll let you know how it is when I come back. Where did you eat lunch? Uh, this is Mad Mike, and I'm back with you with my friend Danny, uh, who's also a member of the Texas Thrill Seekers group. So, there's a lot of us out here today. Danny, your first impression of El Diablo, what'd you think of it? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, the hang time on that is amazing because you're hanging upside down, just hanging there. That's a lot of fun and you're up 100 feet in the air so you get an upside down view of the park. But yeah, I think it's a fun ride and a really good addition to our flat ride collection. It's good to know that we got a lot of flat rides in the park now. I noticed you commented about the theming. You uh -huh. think the theming is pretty good, right? Oh yeah. All those gargoyles in the, in the uh, queue line, uh, that, that, that's that stuff you, you expect from Disney, not from Six Flags. So that's really great to see that kind of theming. Yeah, I, I was I was pleasantly surprised with all the gargoyle things in there. And, you know, mm -hmm. that ride, if you think about it, actually ties into their Fright Fest food offering because yep. they have the El Diablo burger. So now they got oh, the yeah. El Diablo ride. Absolutely. But uh, we're going to be joined by Jeff here in a little bit. He's on his way out here, so... Um, we're probably going to ride Justice League after this so Danny can let his food settle. And then when Jeff gets here, we'll try to hit El Diablo one more time. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll and then uh, we'll go ride some of the rides. We'll have to let Jeff uh, ride it at least once, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. This is Mad Mike. We'll see you soon. So I'm back at home, uh, had mostly a good day at Six Flags Over Texas, uh, met up with some Texas thrill seekers, uh, some who were really pleased to see me and some not so much, I guess, um, but, you know, I still had fun anyway, uh, it was a lot of fun, and El Diablo is a really cool coaster, and, uh, enjoyed it so uh, I made it home safe and sound and uh, going to Six Flags next time I don't know when the next time I'll be out there but because uh, they're only open during the week until six o'clock and I get off so late from work that uh, there's not even a point in going out there for two hours so uh, I'm not sure when the next time I'm gonna be going out there but uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to go and have fun the next time they're open later and uh, ride some more rides with my Platinum Pass and uh, enjoy. And, uh, you know, if you want a picture with me, uh, fine. If not, that's fine too. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.